In the year 3000, it's totally normal to spend your time rocketing through space and visiting theme parks on the moon, robot planets, and alien soda factories, but while we're stuck down here on Earth in the 21st century, we do have our own final frontier, whose inhabitants are arguably more alien and bizarre the internet. The language and customs of internet dwellers can be confusing, but put your Klingon dictionaries down, dear viewers, because I'm Justin with Channel Frederator, and today we're going to explain our way through the memes of Futurama. A note before we jump in, for reasons we don't have time to explain, the numbering of Futurama seasons gets pretty confusing, and we're going to use what's called production order, but if you're referencing a streaming service or DVD copy of the show, the numbers may not line up. Apologies in advance, now let's get to it. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. We're starting off with a sentiment you've probably shared once or twice, or a thousand times. In the season 6 episode of Clockwork Origin, Professor Farnsworth reaches his wit's end in a debate with the talking evolution denying orangutan, one of the show's many relatable premises, and declares, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Now, the professor is lucky enough to be able to blast off and start fresh, if only we all had that luxury when we got annoyed. It's the rare image and text meme with no fill in the blank element and no need for photoshopping and remixing. Maybe you're arguing with an orangutan or a fellow YouTube commenter, or maybe looking for the perfect response to a ridiculous Facebook status or headline in the news. No matter the situation, sometimes there's just one thing to say, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Not sure if Fry. Of course there are times when you want to ditch the planet and there are other times when you're a little less sure. And for those times, we turn to Philip J. Fry and this quintessential look of uncertainty. Fry gave this timeless squint in another season six episode episode, The Lesser of Two Evils, which features a squint-worthy story of intrigue involving Bender and his near-identical twin, Flexo. But the look has taken on a life of its own in the form of a meme, first as a simple I see what you did there reaction, but then more famously as a fill-in-the-blank template that lets users express their doubts about a situation. Like when you have a hunch that let's say someone is trolling you and not just stupid, or when you're not sure if you should laugh or be offended by someone's comments, or even in the relatable moment of not knowing whether if it's your username or password you're getting wrong. And if you had any doubt about the power of internet culture, Fry's mimetic incarnation circled back to the show's canon with an appearance in the season 7 premiere. Neutral response. Step back with me through the mists of time to 1999 when Futurama was on basic cable and cruising towards cancellation because we were too preoccupied with finding out how Prince wanted us to party. Yeah, ask your parents. In the season 2 episode, Brannigan Begin Again, we're introduced to the Neutrals, an alien species who have strong opinions about remaining unopinionated. And while the members of Rush, uh, Ask Wikipedia, may have their own feelings about that choice, when Futurama went through its internet-fueled popularity boom years later, the neutral decree, I have no strong feelings one way or the other, including a YouTube clip that millions of views later retains an almost perfect ratio of thumbs up and thumbs down. That's a bit of spontaneous internet cooperation that makes us feel nothing at all. I waited for you, Fry. Luckily, the neutrals aren't the only residents of Futurama's universe. Fans will tell you it's not the way that the show makes you laugh that makes it special, but how it can occasionally make you cry. That's just the case with season 4's Jurassic Bark, which turns on the waterworks with the story of Fry's friendship with a faithful stray dog, Seymour. While it doesn't fit the comical mold we usually expect from our memes, the iconic image of Seymour laying down as the episode ends gained a mimetic life as a tool strategically deployed to provoke a reaction from Futurama fans, dog lovers, and anyone with a heart. It can be used when you've been waiting a long time for something, such as the popular meme, I'll just wait here for more Futurama. It can also be used as a reference to a dog's loyalty, such as the meme, not sure if human has been gone for five minutes or a thousand summers. The image of Seymour waiting on the sidewalk became so popular, in fact, it even found life as a tattoo. It's a stirring moment from an Emmy-nominated episode and a reminder that against all odds, the people on the other side of our screens do have feelings. I'll build my own. It's nice to have yourself a cry now and then, but this next meme takes us to a different side of the emotional spectrum, righteous indignation. In fact, forget the righteousness. In Futurama's second episode ever, the series has landed, Bender finds himself in just about the worst circumstance a person or an evil robot can face. He has been kicked out of a theme park. But Bender's not the kind of bot to take things lying down. Bender gets mad. He decides, I'm gonna go build my own theme park with blackjack. 
Jack and hookers. Oh, only Bender. Admittedly, Bender was saying all this to a door that had been slammed in his face, but the point's still there and the line became famous. It was then used to make memes declaring what people will make on their own because sometimes when the world's trying to keep you down, you've got to do things on your own terms or at least say you will by cutting out the theme park and filling in the blank with whatever it is you think you could do better yourself. So be like Bender we say, but just don't tell the cops we're the ones that put you up to it. Shut up and take my money. Of course, if you're one of Bender's many fans, you've probably just got one reaction to the thought of him opening up a theme park. Shut up and take my money. From season 6's Attack of the Killer app, Fry's reaction to a well-meaning cashier's warning about a shoddily made iPhone analog quickly became a rallying cry for those eager to spend now and think later. And with the added flexibility of substituting Fry with any character and fistful of currency of your choosing, the meme has become a go-to way to tell someone that you're buying what they're selling. So I should probably send this to those people selling those Futurama t-shirts because shut up and take my money. Why not Zoidberg? Of course, if you're looking for someone to give your hard-earned cash to, why not Zoidberg? This meme isn't inspired by a particular episode per se, but from the crustacean physician's long-running habit of justifying his many dubious decisions with the careless, why not? And combining this with his frequent and fruitless attempts to win the respect of his peers. Zoidberg's rise to memedom began as a simple image of the character against a multicolored background in the advice animal style, but Reddit users quickly developed a formula wherein the reader's needs, a new meme, a tattoo, a presidential candidate, were met with the same inevitable reply, why not Zoidberg? And while it might not be the most compelling argument, you have to admit there's something liberating about giving up, throwing your hands in the air, and letting an incompetent lobster man choose your fate. Hypnotoad. Of course, if you're looking to put your life in the hands of a higher power, there are far better options in the Futurama universe. Why not all glory to Hypnotoad? Uh, where was I? Many fans believe that Hypnotoad is the greatest of Futurama memes and indeed of all memes ever. First introduced in season 3's The Day the Earth Stood Stupid, the Hypnotoad is shown winning a pet show purely on his own merits as he is undeniably the greatest animal to ever live. As benevolent leader of the galaxy, Hypnotoad has no need for the mind control power that his misguided foes claim he possesses. His rule is not invasive or highly unethical, as they argue, because it is based entirely on the freely given adoration of his subjects. While some non-believers on the internet like to use Hypnotoad and the slogan of his followers, all glory to the Hypnotoad, as a disruptive meme, often appearing out of nowhere in an otherwise normal video or comment, the truth is that there is no place where the Hypnotoad is out of place or unexpected. For all things fall under the Hypnotoad's infinite rule forever. Good news, everyone! Come let us explore another meme that has been found pleasing to the Hypnotoad. If you've watched any amount of Futurama, odds are you've heard Professor Farnsworth catchphrase Good news everyone! If you haven't watched any Futurama, you might expect him to follow that up with actual good news, a visit from the, the Hypnotoad perhaps? In reality, the Professor's idea of good news usually involves sending Fry and the rest of the Planet Express crew to some wildly dangerous planet. And while that's bad news for them, it's bound to lead to laughs for the audience. Farnsworth's catchphrase leads a double life in the memosphere. Not only is it widely used among fans of the show to express excitement over recent events, ironically or unironically, it's also a common variant of the you just read this in my voice meme, a kind of good-natured internet prank where unsuspecting readers are fed a familiar line only to be reminded that they subsequently read it to themselves in the associated character's voice. Sort of like when you trick someone into being conscious of their own breathing or remind them that there's no comfortable position in your mouth for your tongue. Yeah. Just saying. X is bad and you should feel bad. Okay, tricking you into breathing manually was a low blow, but we've got a meme that might just encapsulate how you feel about our trickery. Your music's bad and you should feel bad. First uttered by, why not, Zoidberg. In the season 4 finale, The Devil's Hands Are Idle Playthings, Fry makes a deal with the mechanical incarnation of evil, the Robot Devil. But when the devil comes down to New New York and robs Fry of his skills mid-performance, Zoidberg gets straight to the point and says the aforementioned line to Fry. It's got to feel bad to get heckled by a Zoidberg of all people, but the internet felt it was a hilarious way to point out people's flaws, mistakes, and lack of skills. Thus, this meme was born, using Zoidberg's line and filling in the blank to target everything from people's grammar, to forum posts, to their opinions in general. If there is anything internet dwellers love to do, it's bringing each other down like crabs in a bucket, and Dr. Zoidberg is one enormous crab. Oh wait, you're serious? Let me laugh even harder. Let's keep this going with another one of Futurama's more mean-spirited memes. What, you thought that was the only one? Oh wait, you're serious? Let me laugh even harder. Okay, you know what? 
I'll stop. But that's just what Bender says to Leela in the season 4 episode, Love and Rocket, when she asks if it bothers him to be taking advantage of his girlfriend's trust, who is a spaceship, just so you know. The internet latched onto Bender's insensitivity and used it as a straightforward way of ridiculing anyone whose opinion they deemed unworthy of respect or just dared to care about something they didn't. Hey, they don't call Bender evil for nothing. X does not work that way. But Bender's in good company in the Futurama universe. This next meme comes to us from a minor character who's, well, they call him Morbo the Annihilator, and like you'd suspect, his interests include annihilation, calling humans puny, and shouting, I will destroy you all. Which makes him a very interesting choice for a news anchor. But if you can believe it, Morbo's very own meme doesn't involve destroying the Earth. Morbo became internet famous because windmills. In the fourth season episode, Crimes of the Hod, Morse's human co-anchor Linda quips that a group of African turtles who have migrated to Holland to escape global warming will be cooled by the country's many windmills. And Morbo, who clearly cares deeply about the topic, joust verbally with Linda, declaring that windmills do not work that way! Good night! He's right, though he could have said it a little bit more gently. If Bender's laughter is the internet's way of expressing contempt for the stupidity of others, Morbo is the mean voice of pure frustration at the stupidity of others. And so if you ever catch someone online who's just not making sense, do your very best Morbo Bellow of Rage as you passionately tell them that it doesn't work that way. Technically correct, the best kind of correct. We're coming to a close here, but we've technically got time for one last stop on this meme train to hilarity. This one comes from season 2's episode How Hermes Requisitioned His Groove Back, which sees the Jamaican tangling with the central bureaucracy, an enormous organization dedicated to dispensing red tape. When Hermes tries and fails to move up in the ranks, it looks like he's about to lose his job. But when he spots an impossibly trivial error in a form that's years old, it was stamped only four times instead of the requisite five, the bureaucracy leader number 1.0 is forced to acknowledge You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. The bureaucracy's tangled web of rules might not go over well with the hardest of hardcore internet users, but the two are united by a common love, being obsessively precise. Number 1.0's quotable line is the ultimate way to tell someone that they're not wrong, even if you got to squint a little to see how they're right. We're hoping to see a lot of this from all of you in the comments, so don't let us down. Bad news, everyone. We've reached the end of our tour of Futurama memes. Did we miss anything? Head to the comments and tell us how you're going to build your own video. If you want more from me on my own personal channel, Stuff with Scoutfly, check out the description where you can find a link there. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to become part of our awesome notification squad, and subscribe to our channel because remember, Frederator loves you. Until next time, all glory to the Hypnotoad.